Am I too old to be one to get charms and stuff like this? And you know what? Who cares? If you like it, buy it. And I bought it. <laughs> Elena Marie and I am back with another video for you guys. <laughs> if it's your first time here, welcome. If this is not your first time here, welcome back and I'm glad we're able to kick it with each other once again. So this is the first haul of 2024. So excited. So obviously you can tell it's a haul and this is a jewelry related haul. So the gals and guys have been watching my lives i did a whole um vlogmas live last year in the month of december i did all jewelry related and this haul is all jewelry related and it is from shein and i looked at shein and i was like wow i got a lot of stuff that i can use to make some jewelry with but we're gonna see how good of a quality and everything it is because it is from shein and it was exceptionally cheap so <laughs> I'm not going to hold you guys any longer. You guys know Shein is my girl when it comes to clothes. So let's see if Shein is my girl when it comes to jewelry making supplies. So let's go ahead and get right into this haul. Look at this baby. This is a big old bag, y'all. We're going to get right into every single piece. Now, I don't think I'm going to name all the pieces like down the line, like how I have it in, the, you know, in my orders, because that's going to take a long time. So, um, we are going to be, we're just going to open it, honey, and see, because honestly, I forgot what I actually bought here. <laughs> so, we're just going to go right into, ooh, let's get right into it. Now, one of the things that I'm going to get into right now. It's what I already showed you guys. If you was watching my vlog was live, y'all, I'm sweating because it's hot up in here. Yes, I got a sweater on. It's cold outside, but I had the heat on it. And I forgot to turn the heat on and the AC on while I'm doing this so I can be cool. Because y'all can't hear my fan running because y'all going to be like, what's that noise? So bear with me if you see a little drip drip. Ain't nothing. It's just diamonds dripping from the face. Anyway. Okay, so let's go ahead and get into the first item. Now, this item that I'm going to show you guys, I um, actually um, showed this in one of my Vlogmas lives because I was actually going to use it to design something, but I didn't. And this is this, I think this is an um, eight-piece set of chains here. Nice little chains that you can use for... I'm trying to see if it's going to actually, there we go. These are some chains that you can use to make necklaces, bracelets, anklets, whatever you want to do with it. Um, you can even use it to make some nice little dangle earrings. So they're eight pieces and they're all different styles. Absolutely love them. And they're the perfect gold. I absolutely like the fact that they are just, yeah, they're pretty dope. So... Anyway, um, everything that I got here, I think it was at least $10 or less. So I'm just going to stay on that. I have a long thing. So I'm just going to run through them. Okay. So yeah, you have dainty chains here up to a little bit chunky. Just a little bit. And um, yeah, you can do a lot of things with this, honey. To give you a better view again. You can do a lot of good things with these eight chains here. They're long enough to make some necklaces. Maybe I want to... I want to say, excuse me, I want to say at least one to two necklaces each chain, maybe. And of course, you can make numerous of bracelets with these. So, yes, this is the first item. Okay, so the next item that I purchased is these cute little um, multicolored beads here. Look how pretty they are. Like, these are so cute. Let me see if it's going to give you a good... A little focus on it. I think this is the best I'm gonna get it here. Um, these here are 12 millimeters, that's what they say. These are 12 millimeters, and these are silicone beads. And as you can see in here, let me show you guys one more time. As you can see on here, you see black, you have the nice little blue, 
some white, and then you have some animal print balls. I think these are so cute. These are darling. I absolutely love these. And these here, um, I don't know remember the price of these. These were probably, I think these was only $2 on some change. I'm not going to mention the prices because, again, the price could be different because I could have got it on a sale and you could get it for a price or you can get it on a sale and get me cheaper. You never know. So, yeah, I got these and I think these were, um, I think they were like, was they 50? These don't look like 50. I think they're probably like, maybe it is 50 pieces. I think most of them was between 30 to 50 pieces. So yeah, these are so cute. I cannot wait to use these. I love silicone um, beads because sometimes the hole is big on silicone beads, which makes it easy for me to make with tassel earrings or anything that I think needs a bigger hole um, for me to use it in a design. So yes, honey. And I got this in several colors. So this one here, and then this one, here I got these in different colors as well now they say this is 12 millimeters does it say 12 I think this said 12 millimeters as well but this is different sizes I don't know if can you see it there's different sizes in here and there's also some things that you can make um, the jewelry with you got some string here And um, you can make some keychains. You can make whatever not with, with it. It gives you the tools for you to make some keychains. So these are pretty dope too. So like I said, I got a lot of silicone beads. I do remember that because I love working with silicone beads. They're so easy to manipulate. You know, you can even stretch um, the hole on the beads as well to make them fit. So... That's another set of silicone beads. Oh, these are. These are some more silicone beads. <laughs> and these here are the animal print, which I think this is like cow print. And then you have brown, blue, beige, and white and black inside of here. So let me take a couple of them out because you can't really see them because it's kind of like a frosty. Oh, yeah, you can still see them. A little frosty beads there you can see the little cow beads again so yeah this one has different colors to go with the cow beads the blue the black not the blue i'm sorry the black the brown the white and the beige and this again they give you some some ties so you can make some great stuff with it i don't know if i'm going to use the ties i think i'm going to be making just some some oh i could use it if i want to make the bracelets i mean the necklaces they say this is 12 millimeters but i think this is more like eight or ten Honestly, these don't look like 10, 12 millimeters to me. That to me looks like an 8 or maybe 10, not 12. So definitely the sizing is off when it comes to the beads. Um, but nonetheless, they're still very cute silicone beads. And these are beads that are really great if you have kids who like to make jewelry. Silicone beads is the way to go as well. And I think they use silicone beads to put on kids as well like babies for them to have um so yeah these are cute for kiddos to you know get a you know start of making jewelry if they are interested in making jewelry and stuff like that those are the way to go because they always have cute little designs and stuff like that the kids will absolutely adore so she is so far besides of the sizing of the beads because i don't think these are 12 millimeters at all now these right here are definitely 12 millimeters these here are, but not so much of the round beads. I don't see 12 millimeters on the round beads. I see eight. I see eight. So the size is a little bit off, but nevertheless, they're still very cute beads and good quality too. Like. <laughs> okay. So the next ones I have here, again, they keep saying 12 millimeters. I want to say this is about eight. <laughs> and these are some silicone ones as well. I really went to town on some silicones, honey. And these have the 
Cow, why did I get cow? All of the bees have cow print on it. I must have really been into the cow thing. Like maybe that was just, you know, every time I purchase something from anywhere, I notice that I have a pattern of what I choose. And this is cow print. That is so weird. But anywho, let me get it so you can see all the beautiness of this one here. This one has pink. So it's pretty much like the blue one, but it has pink beads instead of the blue. So it's pretty much the same thing with different colors. Like I said, I went to town with silicone, honey. I I don't know. <laughs> I went to town with that, okay? Um, let me see if I have any more silicone in here. I think I do. Ooh, I forgot I purchased these. Oh, I can't wait to show you guys these. These are so cute. Um, but let me see. I want to see if I got all of the silicone out first before I get to move on to the next. And I have one more. Ooh, wait a minute. Hold on now. See, this is what happens. <laughs> this is an all-over first video, y'all, because, you know, I, whatever. Y'all know me at this point. I'm always all over the place. So I don't even know why I'm tripping. All right, so looks like I have one more silicone beads. These may be silicone too, so maybe two. But check these out. Ooh, check these. Now these, they say it's 15 millimeters, and these look like 12. These could be 12, actually. They could be 15, but I'm thinking 12. Look at these. Y'all see the colors in here? I'm trying to get y'all a good view. You see the green. You see, this is army print here. Uh oh, clear up for me. That's army print. The green and the brown and the, oh, look at that. Yes, honey. These look good. You got, this is like two different shades of green. You got black, brown, and then you have the, um, it's not army print. What do you call it? Camouflage print. That's what you call it. Oh, these are cute. Cha. Um, yeah, your girl's going to be using this real soon in the video, so stay tuned to that. <laughs> these are really, really cute. I like these. Now, these here are a little bit bigger, so they say 15 millimeters. I kind of want to say this is 12 millimeters. Again, the sizing is off, but nevertheless, they're really, really cute beads. Let me open these up. The brown with the camouflage. Oh, that's it right there. That is it right there. Let me see if I can grab three at once so you can see the three. Ooh -wee. That's cute. I like these beads a lot. And again, these are silicone. Girl, I like what I like at the moment when I bought it, okay? <laughs> okay, so these last ones, they have silicone in it, but it's a mixture of different type of um, material beads here. But I love the color of these. These are really cute. I love the pattern. So, I'll show you guys these. Yeah, there we go. These are so cute. You got the little snowflake here. So this is definitely some beads that was geared towards the holiday. So I probably won't be using these until probably next year. Um, you got the gold there. You have the um the plaid, and then you have the beige, which are the silicone ones, and then you have silver, and then they give you some twine there for you to work with these. So this is something that I would not necessarily make for jewelry. I'll probably make this um, like some kind of decorative tassel or something like that to put around the house. So yeah, these are very, very cute. Now they say these are 16 millimeters. Um, yeah, I could, this still looks like, yeah, it could be 16, maybe 14 per se, but yeah, these are really cute too <laughs> okay um let's get into the next set of bees here Ooh.
So I have these beads. I'm going to show you these beads in the bigger size here. And these say it's 10 millimeters. Uh, I still say it's, yeah, okay. It can be 10 millimeters. I can say that. Maybe. Um, these here, I can't think of what it reminds me of. I can't think of the name, but these are these beads here. Oh, they're so cute. It's cute blue. Very nice. I got this in what their 10 millimeter is and then eight millimeters. So I have them in two different sizes here. Very cute, very cute. Um, it's the crackle type of um, beads. I can't remember what the beads are called at this moment, but it looks crackly. So, and I really like these a lot. I don't know why I got these. Um, oh. I do know i do know to go with some of these that i already have so these are really really cute they oh yeah these are very cute now i'm looking at them in detail and i love the crackling look so giving them from shein obviously they're not going to be real gemstone or anything like that so keep in mind because you're paying dirt cheap for this okay but it looks pretty darn good so only thing that I think I'll probably have to worry about here, and I guess I will find that out once I make something and wear it, is if the dye will rub off. Because I have got some matte um, beads before that was inexpensive somewhere else. And when I made it and I wore it, the paint or the coating, it started to fade and it started to um, um, stain my actual skin. So hopefully these don't do that. Um, but if they do, I can't trip about it because again, I pay dirty for these beads. Who can complain, right? <laughs> okay, so the next beads I have here, these are some. Oh, these are pretty heavy. Okay, Shein, give me some some heavy quality beads here. These are just some matte gold beads here, um, and they say these are in eight millimeters. I can say eight or six, six to eight millimeters here. And they are some gold, just some simple gold. Oh, hold on. Is it on clear for you? Uh oh, there you go. Just some simple gold matte beads here. That's all it is. Um, they look pretty good. They look pretty good. Nice coating. You don't see it chipping off as of yet. So yeah, they look pretty darn good. Very cute and they're very heavy. I don't know if you can hear it from me doing this. Pretty heavy, not lightweight, lightweight. So I like that a lot. I like it a lot. So okay, so the next one that I have here, these are some faceted beads here, and these are in gold. Let me see. I'm trying to give you a good view of these because there's a tape on each end. So So these here, just some cute faceted beads. Nothing fancy about it. They're in gold. Now they're a little bit on the lighter gold than what I like, but I can make it work. These have a little bit of weight to it as well. So I like the fact that they don't feel too light because you know if it's too light, you know it's the very cheapest material. So I like the fact that they're a little bit, they have a little bit weight to them. But we need to see if they're going to chip or anything like that. We only find out, you know, when you're, you're working with them and when you're wearing them. Okay. So the next set of beads that I have here. Ooh, I love how these look. Now these don't have too much weight on it. So I know they're going to be very, very light. And hopefully the, the coating won't chip off on these. These here are some black beads and they have nice little little gold um, streaks on them. They look absolutely adorable. I got two of these. Gold streaks, if you can see that there. Those are so cute. I love them. And they say the size is, is eight millimeters. But, <laughs> so yeah, these are so cute. I got two of these. Are these the same size? Yes. Oh, I absolutely love these. These would be really dope as a bracelet and necklace set. I hope I have enough to make a bracelet and necklace set. I really like them. Okay. Ooh, these are so cute. <laughs> I can't believe I found these. All right. So these here are some charms and these are little drink charms. 
And it's like you have a little watermelon shrink, some lemonade, and um, what is that? I don't know what that is. I see watermelon, lemon. Did I see strawberry? Yes, strawberry. I don't know what this little thing is right here. I don't know what that is. But anywho, these are really cute. Let me see if I can get this to where you can see them in the bag. And I'm going to take one out so you can see it. No, I don't think you're going to get a good view of them in the bag. So let's take a couple of them out so you can see. These are so cute. These are so cute. All right. Let me take a couple of them out. All right. Here it is. Here. Let me get a lemon out. Let me get a lemon out. Let me get a lemon out. And this is so cute. Alrighty. <laughs> These are darling. So let me see if I can hold it up so you can see what it looks like. It looks like a little lemonade. This is so cute. This is so cute. I like it. And you have... Trying to get it to her. These nails, honey. These ain't the truth. Um, I gotta get used to work these nails, these long nails, honey. I gotta go back to my short nails. I can move them. Let me see. These are so cute. They got little lemons, you got watermelon, and you have some strawberries, you have all the sorted. These are so cute. I don't know, just like making dainty necklaces that have this on here or a few of them. It's so cute and cute. Make some little dainty earrings. These are really cute. These are so cute. <sighs> hmm. I love them. I love them. I've always wanted to get some, some things like this, but I was like, am I too old to be one to get charms and like this? And you know what? Who cares? If you like it, buy it. And I bought it. <laughs> okay, so these charms here, oh, they are so beautiful. And I hope you can see them. Um, I have like a few of these, just in different styles. No, actually, I just have two. I'm sorry. I lied. I only have two of these. So these are some cute um, little sparkly, or you want to call it, crystal um, charms here. So I'm going to get up so you can really see a good view of these. These are some beautiful charms. Look at these. So pretty. These are extremely beautiful. And I got this other one as well. This one is a little bit different. These are so gorgeous. Um, I have a particular idea with these that I'm gonna use. Very cute, and I will be making these. Um, I don't know if I'm gonna make them on live. I'll probably make these um, a design with me video because they're so dainty. I want you to really get a good close up of what I'm doing with these so you can see the designs. And the live, sometimes you can't really get you know, a real crisp look of how something looks, especially something this dainty. So these are very, very cute. I got three of each, if I'm not mistaken. I got three packages of each. So these are very cute. Something very simple and elegant. I love to have simple and elegant earrings. Sometimes I don't always want to be big and bold. Sometimes simple and elegant simplicity, it speaks louder. Sometimes the big, bold, you know, crazy earrings. So it's always good to have, you know, a good few of um, dainty charms and stuff that you can make some nice dainty um, jewelry with because, you know, sometimes you just want to be a dainty girl. You want to be so sophisticated and classy. And you can have yourself some of these charms here and you can make some classy jewelry with it, honey. And listen, with these here and then put it with what I do with my own chain. right here use this and make a necklace with this you can do that as well with the chain in these um in these charms Ugh. come on now but i definitely want to be making some earrings out of these here 
I really like how these look. These are very, very nice. They don't look cheap at all. Come on, Shein. Listen, Shein has not been disappointing me. That's why you're going to always see a Shein haul here. Because they don't disappoint. There are places that don't disappoint me at all. Shein has not disappointed me. Amazon has not disappointed me. Listen, those two places there, I'm forever in it. I'm forever in that. Because they always got me. You know what I'm saying? But these are really, these are very beautiful. Very, very beautiful and good quality. Wow. Yeah. This is coming up very soon. And I got some, um, some, some, some ear wires that this video is coming up soon. I know I said the camouflage one, but this one may be coming up soon because I already got it together in my head, y'all. Listen, y'all gonna have some great fashion and jewelry making content coming very soon. Very soon. <laughs> okay, so who? These are cute. So I don't know what all this black specks and stuff in here though. But anywho, these are some seashell charms here. Let me get up so you guys can have a good view of this. Look at this. These are some seashell seashell charms. Aren't these cute? These are very pretty. I like these. They got some black specks something up in there. I don't know what that's all about. But anywho, these are very cute. And of course, you can do a lot of stuff with seashell um, jewelry. I mean, uh, charms and everything like that. Um, they look pretty real. They look pretty real. I'm not sure what they're made out of. But they look pretty nice. Let me open it up. I don't know what the black specks is. Let me see. You know, my, my parents used to say if you put it to your ear, that's how you know if it's real. But it has a hole in it, so you ain't going to hear the the seat. <laughs> Did anybody else used to, used to have that? My mom used to collect um, seashells. Uh, she used to find seashells and stuff like that, and she put it on her West Nile shelf. Did anybody remember what a West Nile shelf is? <laughs> you know, that little shelf that be in the corner when you go into your grandma's house or your older your older family house and be that little corner and have all your little knickknacks on there? That. And my mom had one. It's been passed down to generations. My mom had one and she used to get seashells to put on there. And if you, if it's a real seashell, you can pick it up and put it towards your ear and it sounds like the ocean. Crazy stuff, isn't it? It sounds like it's the ocean in there. So anyway, <laughs> um, yeah. The, the things that we learn when we were kids and our parents telling us things is pretty crazy. So these definitely not real seashells. I, it, they feel really good, but they're definitely not real. But um, they're good enough to make some great jewelry with. They don't look like they're going to do any fading, any chipping or anything like that. So they look pretty good. Other than the little black specks that something is in there, it's some good quality beads. I'm very impressed. Thank you, Shein. Thank you, girl. I know you was going to come through. <laughs> Okay, oh, so these here are some charms that I got here. Oh, these are really cute. Oh, these are cute. Oh, gosh, these are so cute. Let me show you guys what these look like. These are some cute little charms. We'll take one out. I don't know if it's going to show you like this. Maybe I should sit down and then try to show you. Is it showing? Yeah, look at that. So cute. I think it's about 10 of them in here. Um, cute gold. I have a lot of different golds here, so I don't know. I have to figure out how to work with them. They're diff two different, I mean, different shades of gold. But these are really cute. Great for, oh, if you want to have a nice little cute design um, for an earring, you can do like maybe like a tassel. And then with the tassel, you can put this at the top and hook it. It's a, it's a way you can do it with tassels. And I'm going to figure it out. And when I figure it out, I'm going to make a video with it. Because that's the first thing that pops in my head is tassel for some reason. But you can also do like the um, <coughs> earring findings where um, 
it can hook onto here like the metal piece and you can add more beads at the bottom or you can add chain so whatever um i think of i'll do a video on these but these are really cute i absolutely love these i specifically got it to make earrings um but you can also make a bracelet out of these you can make a bracelet that can be the charm in the middle you can do whatever you want as long as your creative juices are flowing masterpiece is in the making <laughs> So, oh, wait a minute. I forgot about these two. All righty. No, these three. Ah! All righty. So this one, I'm going to kind of open up because you can't really see what all the plastic are. So let me open this up in the end. Yeah, I got to breathe. That's me. Breathe. Uh-huh, uh-huh, uh-huh. Me. Uh-huh. Okay. All righty. So I finally got these unwrapped so this is what i'm gonna show you guys these are really cute i have a whole set here um let me see if it's gonna show you what it is this is a clay beads it's a little cylinder clay beads you see the nice little clay braces people you people make with the name in the middle and stuff this is exactly what this is you get the pink the white you get two shades of brown you have your letters here Oh, it's blurry. So let me show it up here this way. So you have your pink clay beads here. You have your whites. You have two shades of brown. And you have your letter beads here. And then you have all your gold beads down here. And you have some rhinestone beads right here at the bottom. So this is the pink and white and brown set here that I got. So cute. I love making these type of beads. Uh, um, bracelets and you can make um, it's mostly bracelets but I've seen people actually make um, other type of jewelry with these as well, as well besides bracelets earrings, necklace, you can do whatever you want just be creative with it and it comes with some um, stretchy cord it comes with stretchy cord now that is the, the pink uh, white and brown Okay, so now I have the black, white, and gold one here. Now, these here is just all Bs. There's no letter Bs in these. There's no letter Bs in these here. It's just black clay Bs, white clay Bs, and all gold here. And you have, yeah, just all gold beads, no rhinestones or nothing. So this is the other set that I have, that I got here. This is the other set. And, oh yeah, these are the only two clay beads that I have here. And y'all know the beads that I'm talking about. You know, the not the beads. Um, you know the necklaces I'm talking about that people make. It's the name um, um, bracelets. That for a minute, it was just for kids. But now I'm seeing adults wearing theirs all the time. I have seen so many adults with clay bead bracelets now. It's amazing how some things that was considered kitty now is not kitty anymore. Weird. But I like it because I'm girly girly and sometimes I like to use stuff that's considered kitty to, and to put in a design and it looks very cute. I just don't want it to be called kitty. Okay? Because I'm a grown woman. I'm a grown woman. You do whatever. What? Okay, I'm done. Anyway, <laughs> so the last set of beads I got here is these beautiful pearl beads. I think these are from... Four millimeters up to, I want to say 10 millimeters. And these are so cute. Of course, the quality of this is not going to be like real pearls. Okay, so, but it's, it's going to, let me see, let me film it. Yeah, very plasticky, very plasticky. So very, very, very cheap. But at the same time, if I'm making jewelry for myself, I don't care if it's real pearls or not. I'm going to make it for moi. And I also will use the tiny ones as well for when I make nails. I'm trying to find the flat ones so I can use those, but I can use the tiny ones to make nails as well. So, yeah, these are really cute. Some good stuff that I can use when I do my jewelry making lives or tutorials to show you guys. Let's use here's some inexpensive stuff. I wouldn't necessarily use this for any jewelry for me to sell. Definitely for something for me to wear, you know, so definitely. Very cute though. Very, very cute. Okay, so this is kind of not jewelry related, but it is jewelry related. <laughs> I 
because I will be using it for jewelry. And these are just cute little containers. Now I got two of these because I will be using one set for jewelry and one set for my nails. So, and this is cute little thing here. This cute um, little cylinder container. Very cute. See how that is there. Is it blurry? There we go. So, you know, it has a top just like this. And, you know, I just, um, for jewelry purposes, I'm not sure what I'm going to use it for just yet. But I got two because I wanted to use one for jewelry and one for nails. Nails, I already know. I want to be putting all of my um, cotton swabs and not cotton swabs, actually, my lint free wipes and certain things like that in there. And for the jewelry, I'm not quite sure what I'm going to put in it just yet. Uh, but I think I'm putting certain type of findings or whatever that is pretty, um, um, what's the word? Pretty common for me to use and because this will definitely stay on my um, on my desk. So just the common things that I use when I make jewelry, like certain findings that is pretty much common, standard for me to use. But definitely use this so I don't have to always dig into my drawers. I can use this here. It's always on, on the desk and I can just put the stuff in there. So I have two sets of these. Again, like I said, one is for jewelry and one is for my nails. And these are just so cap. Let me show you. So you get two of the cylinder ones in this. And then you get this baby here. This is cute. Now, I probably use this, this one and the other one in the other set for jewelry. And because uh, I don't know exactly what I'm going to use this for. I mean, not jewelry, for nails. Because I don't know what I'm going to use this for for jewelry just yet. But I might come up with something. So I'm going to think about that first before I make that decision. So you get the two cylinders. It's two cylinders. And then you get this here, which is absolutely cute. Um, let me see how much I paid for this. Let me look and see how much I paid for this one. Yes, I, I, because, you know, you can shop for home stuff too now. Okay. So I got it for $4.12. $4.12. You can't go wrong with that. Trying to go and get something like this. Somewhere else, obviously it's going to be better quality, but who's looking at this and saying it looks cheap? It don't look cheap to me. It looks pretty good. So yeah, go, go ahead and go in there and get yourself one of these. And you don't have to use it for jewelry. Obviously you can use it for home stuff or whatever not, but you can use it for jewelry if you want to. You can use it for, like me, I'm using it for nails as well. You know, you can use it for artwork or whatever you do crafty. You know, some of these things come in handy, you know, so less than $5. You can do anything with this child. <laughs> okay, so another thing that I got here. This here is just a nice little brush container. You can use this for anything. Let me take this out of the... Let me see if it has a cord. You can... Oh, the bottom fell, man. Okay, back at it. So this here obviously is a oh, this is very bright, so I don't know how much you're gonna get of it. It's just a little container you can put your brushes and anything like that. So you can use this for makeup, whatever. I definitely be using this to put my paint brushes in. Um, again, to sit them on my desk when I reconfigure everything in my office. I definitely want to have the things that I want out, out, and things in. in. So <laughs> this is one of them and it does do a little spin. It has a little thing here. So it does do a little spin there. This is very, very cheap. I think I got this for less than three bucks on, 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 um, she and child. So <laughs> yeah, so this cute little thing that you can think about when you're crafting, you can use like something cute like this and you can even design this. It has the material you can paint this or whatever. I don't know if I'm a painter or not, but very cute thing that you can use anywhere in your house that needs some kind of organization. You can put your paint brushes in here. You can put your makeup brushes in here. Um, you can put pencils in here. You know, pencils in your pens, whatever you use to decorate or do your craft work with. So, yeah, this is a cool thing to have as well. 
Okay, so I just noticed I missed a set of beads. These here are just some cute little um uh what what oh my god what's what's inventory? I think I think that's what it is. Imitation beads of that, of course. Let me stand up so you guys can see it better. I miss these beads here. These look like they're about six millimeters. Very, very cute. Very cute. They look like they bought a good amount of them in there. Maybe 50. Good amount in there. Very cute. Let me see how they feel. Yeah, very plasticky like. So yeah, definitely not real, of course. These paint are cheap. But again, good to use to make some jewelry freezer. Okay. So the last thing I purchased is the cutest thing ever and I need to put it together. It's so cute. And this here is a jewelry display, a earring display. Let me see if you guys can see what it looks like. I don't know if you can really get the feel of it. It's like some clear little hangers. So it's pretty much like a, um, a clothing rack, the hangers but you hang your earrings on it. So let me see if I can do this on here, put it together and so you can see how it works. This is so exciting. I thought this was the cutest thing. I've seen this a couple of times with certain um, people on Instagram who were showcasing, you know, they, their work. And I was like, where did they get this display from? I thought it was the cutest thing in the world. So, okay, so let me see if I can put this together, y'all. Let me see if I can put this together. Go in. Oh, y'all, I made it. Okay, so here is what this looks like. Now I have to put the, uh, hold on. So how does this work? If this goes here, how does this stay? That looks weird. How does this stay up? Oh, it does stay up. Not really. That's weird. How does this work? All right, let me look at the picture. Hold on, give me a second, give me a second. Okay, so I figured it out. Here's what it looks like. Here's what it looks like. Okay, hold on, hold on, wait, wait. <laughs> That's why I saved this for last, because I thought this was the cutest thing. All right, so you got your hangers. Can you see the hangers, y'all? You see the hangers? Okay. Ah! Okay. Oh, so cute. Alrighty. I'm gonna put the hangers on there. I'm gonna put all the hangers on there. I got some tape on this. What's up with that? Oh, come on now. Come on now. Come on now. Come on in the room. Okay, so I, I'm putting all the hangers on right quick. This is the cutest thing ever. I don't care what anybody say. Okay, so look, I got the hangers on. Let me get some um let me get some earrings to put on here. Let me see. I got these earrings right here. These are big. I got number big earrings over here. Let me see. Oh, let me get my favorite earrings that we made during the holidays. Okay, so if you watched my lives, you know these earrings here were that girl. Let me show you. Everybody loved these earrings. Okay, so we're going to put them on here. Hold on, I'm going to have to put it like this. O-M-G. <laughs> Look at this. Okay. I put it in kind of the wrong way, but whatever. And they hang. Look. Look, 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 look. They're hanging on there. Okay, let me put some more on there. I'm going to put these on here. We also did this during the um, Vlogmas Live. We made these as well. One of the early pieces. 
these beautiful little red ones. Let me go ahead and put these on. These are going to be easy to put on. So. so you got both of these on here. Aren't these cute? <laughs> this is so cute. I absolutely love the fact that I finally got a hold on these babies. I I got two of them, by the way. Obviously, we'll be getting more. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So when I showcase my stuff, particularly on um, Instagram and TikTok, um, probably here too when I post my shorts, I would love to use these when I just kind of scoot them out the way and then I show you the latest thing. So freaking cute and you don't have to use it for business wise you can use this for just something really cute and different to hang your earrings on now of course you can't do no big bow ones on here um you have to do your nice dancing ones which is totally fine um i'm gonna see if i can find one that's a little bit bigger so i can do like my big bow ones but if not it's totally fine i can just use the dancing ones for this excuse me but I absolutely love this. It's so cute. Ha! Huh? This haul. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> okay, you guys. That is all I have for you for our first haul of 2024. I hope you guys thoroughly enjoyed this video. I personally enjoyed looking through what I ordered because I totally forgot. <laughs> But nonetheless, these were some great pieces, some good quality pieces. Some of them was a little cheap, the material. But overall, they really look nice. And she, you're doing your thing with the jewelry stuff too, I must say. Definitely something that, um, the, the pieces that I have is definitely something that I will be making for myself versus me using it to make jewelry to sell. Um, but other than that, it's really great pieces I really did enjoy looking and feeling through all of it because honestly like I said I don't remember what it was that I got so because <laughs> it's been a minute since I purchased it but yes that's all I have um I thank you guys for your support I thank every single one of you guys who came in um and enjoyed my company during um vlogmas live we had so much fun on lives don't worry i'll still be doing lives but your girl gotta put in some videos every now and then too because i got some hauls for you the next haul will definitely be a fashion haul you guys know i love fashion and i love jewelry so i have to put those two the two together honey because that's me and that's what my channel is all about being fashionable and creative at the same time mm. <laughs> I thank you guys for your support. Let's keep pushing our community out. Um, let's see if we can get to 10,000 before this year is over with. I know that's like a long stretch, but hey, we can do it, right? We can even go surpass 10,000. But the goal is to reach 10,000. <laughs> but anyway, I thank you guys so much. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And... Let me know what your favorite pieces was in this haul. And do you plan on buying any jewelry making supplies from Shein? And thank you all for your time. Until next time, peace.